So, just squeezing in a quick one. Um, I'm going to go to one of my favourite summer jaunts, which I don't normally do in the winter, but um, out Bramford Speak, which is a bit interesting. The reason I don't tend to go there in the winter is um, Tiffy's got a big sewage works, but, uh, which discharges in the winter. And, um, and also with the heavy rain, you get a lot of flotsam and just jetsam that gets washed off the streets at uh, Tiffy. It can't be any different here in Exeter, but um, being on Exeter on the estuary, it seems to get washed out without you noticing it. Rather in Tiffy, it gets caught up in all the uh, all the branches of the, that hang over the river, and um, it's really noticeable. Just pulling out over a junction over here. Um, but it's been dry for a week or so, so it, um, and I had a fantastic swim in um, Hope Cove yesterday, but it was like, oh, okay, I had a bit of digging at, um, they've got uh, like lots of places, I guess, challenges with uh, with water pollution, because like I say, it's been dry, and yet um, it's clear there's been a discharge on, uh, on Inner Hope, so we'll see if I get on. Bramford's also, um, Interesting because um, you know, Roger well, Deacon talks about it in his book. That um, I reckon people have been swimming there for centuries, but the main pool that particularly families go to um, is now all fenced off. They put uh, deer fencing around it, not because there's deer, just because they want to keep people out from their paddock, which is rather gorgeous. I have to admit, if I own the paddock, that, uh, I might feel like they do. But, um, but luckily, the 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 other pool, which is next to the old railway bridge, uh, which is fantastic for doing uh, jumps off of, but you think you have a ladder there of some description. Um, that one's still open, so, it, um, so I swim there. And then actually in the, I won't do it today, but in the summer I quite enjoy, and the dogs will come and swim with me. Um, you can jump in at that top of the pool uh, by the old railway bridge, and then you can swim down past the old pool that, that um, everybody used to swim in for millennia. Uh, and then down underneath the, the steel pedestrian bridge um, by just below Bramford Speak and then carry on down past another pool um, and then there's another oxbow and you can go around that one um, so you can do probably a kilometre swim something like that so there's some real shallow bits in there but um, you can stay on it's still in the water and sort of pull yourself along with your with your legs sort of like um, a bit like doggy paddle really but you're, you're putting your hands on the rocks as opposed to swimming for the shallow pieces and it's quite good fun because if I've got Bramble and Willow uh, and I'm by myself they'll quite happily swim the whole length with me as well but I've got Poppy and Chestnut with me today so it's, um, the, um, and I don't fancy staying in the water that long in the winter. Been to Bramford Speak and um, you're in for a bit of uh, a treat look how pretty that is that's my van there Oh my god, it's got dark tank snowdrops out. How cool is that? There's a beautiful church. Not the Roman church you sell. There's a footpath straight in front of us, which is not the way I'm going today. You need wellies. Um, but that goes down to one of the swimming poles, which is sort of two thirds of the way down on the swim I go. We're going to go through the churchyard, which is a nice walk along the side here. My dogs are great off a lead, not so good on a lead. There we go been listening to um, one of Roger Deacon's books, Nature ABC, which is sort of like a collection of um, some of it in his own own voice and some of it not, uh, but writings and interviews and all sorts really. Uh, yeah. Oh, God. If, you, uh, if you read or listened to um, Waterlog, then, uh, then you'd, I'd really recommend it. I wouldn't recommend it in its own right, but um, it adds a lot more sort of deep detail and background to uh, Roger's life and and thinking and uh, it's, it's really nice and particularly as an audiobook because um, like I say some of it's in his own voice which is a bit of a treat really I can't believe that Waterlog was only published in 2000 that's um in my <laughs> in my lifespan that seems really close anyhow we're going um we're in Bramford Speak just walking along here on the footpath um through the village it's got a cracking pub um, used to be called a lazy toad, which was a bit of a waste of time, but now it's gone back to its original name, the Agricultural Inn, and the food and the booze is great there. Highly recommended. Um, but there's some uh, great swimming pools at Bramford Speak, or swimming holes. There's um, 
four that I use here. And then actually if you walk on up the uh, X, sort of Dalton Way, um, not as far as Dalton, but um, there's another another swimming hole, not as good as the ones at Bramford Speak. And then one at the bridge. Oh, I'll have a look at birds and it's very nice. Um, yeah, the bridge at Thorverton. And um, there's a couple of swimming holes just below Thorverton if you walk down the river, which um, are well worth exploring. And then I think it gets really exciting when you get above Tibby because the, um, the water becomes just beautiful like a, a Dartmoor River. And uh, there's two really good weirs um, below or above Tiverton. So there's Bolholm Weir. You've got to be a bit careful because it's a nasty, a nasty weir, typical man-made weir, but it's too, um, too uniform. So if it's a high spate, you definitely wouldn't want to get um, washed over the weir, but you'd have a struggle to be washed over. But that's a, a nice swimming hole, and the farmer that owns that is actually really, really quite, um, quite positive. As long as you don't, you pick up your litter and bits and pieces, it gets cheese off for the kids leaving. Loads of litter there, but I went there and had a word with him about taking school groups and whether we could bring the minibus in and, and he was all up for that, that was cool. And then uh, Washford Weir, which is even better. And I'm still working on that one. I've spoken to the farmer that, um, that rents the land from Knights Hayes. Um, the farmer's okay with me um, taking school groups there, but um, uh, I've got to check with Knights Hayes. I'm sure they'll be fine once they've seen that insurance covers us some bits and pieces, but that, uh, Washford Weir, that's, uh, that's really nice, lovely place and great for taking a dog, so I guess uh, bridge actually looks really nice. Sort of not really because it's steel, but it's still pretty. So this is the section that I, in the summer, I'll swim down. Uh, cracking out to the door there. Yes, the two main swimming holes are way up above us here, I say way up way up swimming wise not walking wise and then there's another two down this way as well it's a lovely walk down it it's quite nice trees planted to commemorate the 100th anniversary of world war one I. I wonder if they're um I was listening to ben law's woodsman's books highly recommended at um when he talks about his woods that he plants he does quite a lot of um planting woods up for uh for individuals and community groups and he always tries to put um trees in there that provide food at time um, so not just only wood you know it's um so whether that's um the roman chestnut or um well the roman introduced chestnut to the uk or um you know plums and cherries and apples and damsons and you think oh yeah that's that's really cool isn't it it's really nice to have trees but why not as part of those have some trees to feed people and uh and the wildlife too i like that idea this would have been the uh pool that Roger would have swum in and uh, when I used to swim in it it's interesting my dogs remember going this way even though it's been 18 months or so since they put up this new deer fencing and it goes all the way around but um I've changed my mind actually I think actually not that it's ever going to happen but if I was uh, lucky enough to own a bit of land with a, a swimming hole that the community used at um it'd be nice to leave it open for everybody but uh, easy to say when you don't open it I've done a lot of work. The old railway line used to be really overgrown. And then this was the usual sort of walkway between the two swim spots that they've taken off with deer. Oh, the river's high. But, um, it's usually a lot more sand. Oh, it looks so so. Yeah, so you, I jump in over the top and you can follow it down. And just over here, oh, dog just pulled the lead. Um, there's an old wall at um, there's some stones and bits and pieces, nothing sharp, and then it gets a bit shallow here, whizzes round, very deep, so you can jump and backflip and all sorts of pieces. And there's usually a swing over, oh, you can just see it, there is a little swing there. And this is a really deep pool here, and it comes in really shallow there, and you can go back up over this side. So that'll be my little swim today. Smiling because uh, you know, what I was thinking about it in the summer, you can quite easily walk across here. It's maybe, um, oh, it's not even a foot deep. At, um, although I expect it's probably only 18 inches, two foot across there now, but it sort of goes shallow, 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 and then it suddenly drops off, um, which is quite good fun. But uh, we'll find out where that is today.
effort every time I go out to pick up rubbish. <laughs> I just see another piece there. I was actually not, I was thinking there wasn't much around. So I've got sort of like a baked bean can or something. A uh, bud. Thatcher's haze, I like Thatcher's haze. My orange peel. I always say to children, if it's native, apples and pears throw it, but oranges and bananas, no. A bit of black plastic and a pump that actually looks in remarkably good working condition. There you go, that's my little clean up today. The lights go nice, but there's really no excuse to litter at, um, oh, here, yeah, because I've got the bins just as you come up the hill. <laughs> my feeling I'm puffing because I came up there. 